Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'll show you how to update uh, the software to Tizen 4 on your Galaxy S3 watch or S3 Frontier. So Samsung is slowly uh, releasing uh, this update uh, all across the world. And um, it's just, uh, I just got a notification on my phone saying that I have the uh, update available. So I'll show you the process of doing it. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to open your um, Samsung's um, uh, gear uh, application. I'm already in the app. So and you want to scroll down to about watch. And when you click there, and the first option that you're going to see would be update watch software. You want to click on that, see it says one. So that means uh, there is a software update available. If there isn't one available there, you just want to click on it. And it would uh, tell you, it would check the software and will see if there is one available. So in my case, there is an update available and it is downloading it right now. It's almost 300 MBs. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this download finish and then I'll show you what to do next. While it's downloading, um, let's quick, uh, quickly go through what's new in, in this update. So it's saying there's... Um, uh, it's going to support more workouts in Samsung Health, and you're going to get a Samsung Health widget, two advanced modes, theater sleep, and are able to keep your uh, users from disturbance, uh, quick panel, um, messages, draft messages can now be saved, additionally showing MMS messages, oh, that's pretty cool, and notification cover view and animated images are automatically played, uh, so that's, I think, GIFs or GIFs they're talking about. Uh, and uh, we're gonna have over a thousand emojis um, so some people might get excited about that I'm not that big of, big of a fan of emojis music user, users can <laughs> got my tongue twisted user uh, can change to different music play source on watch instead of a phone that's pretty handy setting menu improved categorize of menus for better discovery of features and items call users can now navigate to other screen and or use um, other features and apps while on the call. Cool. So that looks like uh, there's a lot of uh, new features that are going to be available. And um, I have been reading up um, on internet about the new Tizen 4 over the internet. And I've heard that uh, it's a lot better than Tizen 3. It's a lot, the experience is a lot smoother. And uh, they say it, it, this new update brings the Galaxy S3 Frontier very very close to the new galaxy watch so there's not really much difference uh, apart from the battery life because apparently um, the new galaxy watch uh, is a little bit better uh, on battery life uh, but for me even the s3 frontier it lasts me about two two and a half days with the medium sort of use so i'm pretty happy with it um so but i'm um, quite keen to find out what uh, this new uh, update and ui would look like on one side update this on my new watch so it's uh, almost finished 298 and uh, I don't know if you know but in Australia internet is pretty slow so I'm using it over my Wi-Fi and here we go the software is downloaded okay looks like it's transferring the software to my watch right now so what I'll do is I'll just pause the video um, just to you know for the sake of saving the time and here I'll show you what's running on my um, Galaxy Watch at the moment. So if I open it up and if I go into the settings and we want to scroll down, we click on about gear and it says, here we go, software information. And as you can see, it's uh, showing that um, currently I'm running Tizen 3.0.0.2. So yeah, so we're gonna uh, let the download finish on my phone, and uh, we'll see um, what to do next. Okay, so it's finished transferring uh, the file to my watch now. So uh, it's asking me to click install now. So we're gonna do that. Alright, so it's just given a message on my watch saying gear will restart, so let's see what it does on the watch. 
Okay, so it has just restarted the watch, and as you can see, uh, it's got a little um, uh, percentage of progress uh, going on there, showing you how much it's done. So it's only done 2% so far. So what I might do is I'll, I'll pause the video um, and show you uh, when it's done 200%. Okay, so it's done around 37%. Okay, it's been about five minutes and uh, it's 79% um, done. Okay, it's uh, been another about a minute or so. Oh, and there we go, it's done. 100% and I presume it's gonna restart again. finalizing the update so it started updating that it's going to four percent I might periodically pause the video on this one too because it looks like it's gonna take a while as well but it's certainly um, moving a little bit faster than the other progress bar okay it's up to 33 percent okay it's about to finish There we go, it's restarting again. Is the starting logo? Alright, so it's going straight to the, the watch face that I had. I was hoping I'll show some sort of uh, demo before it does that. Now, let's try to get into the settings and see what version have we got now. Mm -hmm. For some reason, uh, battery very low, turn off all function, extend battery. Oh, that's strange because my battery was over. Uh, I think 70% or close to 60% about watch uh, do software Come on. all right so there we go we got Tizen 4.0.0.2 it's uh, a lot of O's in there so this is how you update your software on your new Galaxy uh, Gear S3 uh, or Gear S3 uh, Frontier now I won't um, make um, this video any longer by showing you the, um, you know, what's new in this software because there are some uh, videos out there that have done a much better job at explaining uh, what these new features are uh, uh, with this new software. Uh, so maybe you guys can go on YouTube and check those videos out. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.